I'm Dr. Christina Butler, a gynecologic oncologist at Mayo Clinic. In this video, we'll cover the basics of cervical cancer. What is it? Who gets it? The symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. Whether you're looking for answers for yourself or someone you love, we're here to give you the best information available. Cervical cancer happens when cells in the cervix, the lower part of the uterus that connects to the vagina, start to become abnormal. Small changes in the cell DNA tells them to multiply out of control and cells accumulate in growths called tumors. Thankfully, advances in medical technology and specifically the use of pap tests have significantly helped us identify cervical cancer in patients earlier than ever before. What was once the most common cause of cancer death for American women is now caught sooner and therefore more curable. While it isn't perfectly clear what sparks these cervical cells to change their DNA, it is certain that human papillomavirus, or HPV, plays a role. HPV is spread by skin-to-skin -skin contact, often during sexual encounters. Over 85% of the general population has been exposed, but most people with HPV never develop cervical cancer. However, reducing your risk of one helps reduce your risk of the other. So I recommend getting both the HPV vaccine and regular screening tests. Other risk factors for cervical cancer include multiple sexual encounters, but it only takes one to contract HPV. So it's important to always practice safe sex. A weakened immune system and also smoking are linked to higher risk. One drug called DES was popular in the 50s as a miscarriage prevention drug. So if your mother took it while pregnant, you may have higher risk as well. Unfortunately, the early stages of cervical cancer generally show no signs or symptoms. And this is why we emphasize getting pap smears every three to five years and yearly pelvic exams. Once the cancer has progressed, it can show these symptoms. Unusual vaginal bleeding, for example, after intercourse or between periods or after menopause watery, bloody vaginal discharge that may be heavy or have an odor. And pelvic pain or other pain can also occur during intercourse. Most guidelines suggest starting regular screening for cervical cancer at age 21. And during these screenings, a provider collects cells from the cervix to be tested in the lab. 